And then you're not going to uh, do anything. You got to dance now. Yeah, but well, you, now I got to do something. I but mean, you, you seem really into it. Like I'm it, into it. But you're into it. Like it doesn't seem. It's I'm not just like, nervous that like people, like all of a sudden I feel this responsibility. You by do. Wedding, they have to entertain everyone. Can I you ask do, you, you feel, one thing? Yeah. Can I ask you one thing? And Pop, Pat Monahan's supposed to come from Train, and he's going to sing something. Okay. And then, and then like Pat's wife's going to have a baby. And I'm like, oh, I fucking hope she doesn't have the baby because Pat's now coming. Now she can't have a baby because it yeah. ruined your wedding. I hate that she's pregnant. I was looking forward to seeing that broad not nah, pregnant. She can't even. I don't come. think you're seeing her. Yeah. But uh, I um. He was in such a rush to knock her up. One one thing about the toast hour. Can I just say, it, it, is it something where I shouldn't be at all blue? You think like I not, nah, not have fun, make people laugh. Uh, so I'm saying like a curse here and there. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I just what, wanna... what am I the president? Who no, do you I think know. You're performing for <laughs> yeah, no cursing. No cursing at Howard Stern's wedding. No, no, no. But I mean, you know, Howard's a, a classy no. guy, and it's a cla- you know, I believe me, I'm well, not that classy. Uh, don't do heroin in right. the middle. Of- <laughs> yeah, can you be straight for it? <laughs> Does Robin have Meanwhile, to go there? I had my bachelor party. You didn't even ask me about my bachelor party. Well, I, oh, I was, was going to bring uh, that up because I thought... Thursday night. I thought, Artie had the funniest line of the bachelor party. So it was Thursday night. Uh, dinner was... At, we had dinner at Nobo at uh-huh. 7 o'clock. Richie Notar very generously offered, uh, you know, to have a bachelor party for Wonderful, me. wonderful place yeah. to have a meal. And, um, and God, did Richie take care of us because we all kicked in and... <laughs> When uh, Ross told me how much we all owed, my God, did Richie take care of yeah. us, man. Right. He much, really did. How much were you supposed to pay on that thing? It was like, he said uh, like 100 bucks. I gave, 100 more, bucks. I gave more than that. What more. do you mean, for a tip? No, yeah, no, no. everybody was supposed to kick in 100 for, I think, for a tip. Oh, right. Okay. I mean, it yeah, was There was no way that that was going to pay for what No, I mean, R- Richie that really took care of us. Outrageous. Well, anyway, yeah, because I said to Richie, someone's going to tip the waiters, aren't they? He goes, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I go, well, I said, I'll take care of it. He goes, no, 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 I'll ask the guys to chip in. I went. That's what that's what a bachelor party is, though. Yeah, but I didn't want you guys. No, doing but that's that. what that's what you do for a friend. So anyway, I'm no friend. Anyway, uh, I uh, you do a lot for you us. Know I what? Do, do. It's so sad what you do. I know that's horrible. You should talk to your therapist yeah. about that. That was awful what you just did. Artie goes. I know that was a little that mean. That was that was kicking <laughs> all of them in the belly. Yeah, yeah. fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Fuck them all. I'll make a real doll out of them and fuck them. Hey, you know what? So uh, Artie <laughs> really sits down. Artie sits down to eat. He goes. He looks at his watch and he goes. I know I'm at a Howard Stern bachelor party. It's 9 o'clock and we're already done. <laughs> and uh, everyone's going home. Uh, because, you know, I'm Mr. Early right. Bird. But uh, actually, Artie showed up late to the bachelor party. Okay. Okay. No, what happened? It was drama. It was called for 7 o'clock. He goes, he shows up at 9 o'clock. It's almost over, the bachelor party. First of all, you know I would never be that late for anything. Ross, real quickly in the hallway, Tuesday, said, okay, we're going to do something for hour at Nobu. And he, I swear to you, I swear to God, this is why I wish my life was on tape. <laughs> because I don't forget shit like this. Your he life said, is on tape. He said... It is, actually. Yeah, probably, there probably yeah, is a probably tape. probably a tape of this. He said 9 o'clock. I said, no problem, which makes sense. That's a time you'd have a party, right? 9 o'clock. Party, everybody knew 7 o'clock. Uh, How come you I, the I woke up at 7 o'clock. Party. I set my alarm. Thank God I texted Ralph because I was supposed to drive right. Ralph. And he said, we're here. What are you doing? So I rushed there. The joke we were saying is, what time does Howard usually leave a party? It, well, was, it was a joke because Artie texts Ralph during the thing and goes, uh, I'll pick you up around eight forty-five. <laughs> and yeah, and, and I go, and Ralph shows it to me. I go, what's with Artie? Like, do you think he's back? Then the whole subject was, do you think he's back? Uh, on? No, I just, I, I set my it's a seven I had o'clock a, party. He goes, I'll pick you up at eight forty-five. I had a very responsible day. I, 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 I had work to do after the show. I did it, and then I, I, uh, I set my alarm. I took a nap. Artie didn't so drink. So did Ross fess up to this that he had? No, Ro- listen, Ross, it's a misunderstanding. Artie didn't drink the whole bachelor party. Well, he can't. I felt bad for him. Then, and then afterwards, it was a whole discussion whether to go to a strip club or not, and I. I wasn't going to the strip club. I told you that. Right. Which, by the way, is very difficult for me. Really? But, uh, it was yeah. hard for you to say that? Yeah, I jones at that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, and it also was, I took, it took an unbelievable amount of uh, whatever to, to, we were, everyone was like, let's go, let's go. And Howard's like, no, I'm leaving. There was a tremendous amount of peer pressure. A lot of pressure. To me. Everyone was like, come on, you'll come, you have one lap dance and you leave. Come, one lap dance. I go, listen, guys. I said, this was a great night. It was 10 o'clock. I was ready for bed. <laughs> And uh, already saw you for an hour. <laughs> yeah, I was like two hours. I didn't leave. No, we left at midnight. No, we you didn't. stayed there a while. Yeah, already, I was home at midnight in Connecticut. We Did left there at 10 Beth? o'clock. Beth, yeah, you see, so listen to this. So, since I was having a bachelor party, Beth says, Oh, I'm gonna go out to this movie with uh, two friends. Uh huh. Okay, so she walks in my room, she's wearing she's almost naked, like, like a little tiny dress with little boots and. I go, where are you going? <laughs> she goes, well, you're having a bachelor party. I'm going to the movies. I go, I'd rather be with you. <laughs> so Those she guys goes, don't look nearly as good as you. And she goes, and there's an after party from the movie. And I go, oh, boy, a bunch of actors all looking at her in this little outfit. <laughs> oh, she's going like a movie screening. Movie like a, screening. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. 
So uh, I so said, what, 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 what song are they going to be playing there? Suck my dick? Ow. So I, uh, so she gets all dressed up and stuff. So I decide uh, after dinner, I'm going home. I figure, well, I'll go be with her. She must be home by now. I get home about 1030 from my bachelor party. <laughs> really? Yeah. And then, and then I find out the next morning, Beth was at the bachelor party. After the, after the uh, after party where there was no food, they decided to come to Nobu, where we were. And uh, she said, I don't want to interrupt his bachelor party, but then found out I had already left. <laughs> so, they, so she said, oh, that'll be okay. So she, sh right? Did you see her? No. I left we right all, after you. How did you. How did you not see her? She we was there. We left right around the time you left, Al. Oh, we all you left. Oh, I thought you were there till midnight or so. Uh, I thought I was. I mean, I left when you, it must have, it was no, at least, it was, like it was 11 o'clock. Yeah. He I, said I, he was in bed at 10 I got back, I got back to, I got back here at quarter to 11. Because I watched the end of the there's, Milwaukee there's game no on the computer. I was in bed by 10.30. Yeah. There's no, no. Yeah. Really? We left at 10. Uh, and then and then Howard left and then quick hours, it was man, poor, it was it was total confusion. I ate and I uh, there were a bunch of guys out on the street trying to figure well, once you left nobody knew what to do. <laughs> should we go inside? Should yeah, we go but outside? I always told the guys I was not into making a whole big night. I out think of it. they thought that they could convince sway you. you. Yeah, yeah, that they could convince you. Yeah, well, the plan I, was to get me there right. to the dinner and then we'll get you drunk and then we'll take you to the club. Well, I helped yeah. Howard out by by being the other uh, party pooper because I said, look, I can't go to the strip right. club either. Yeah, Artie's a whole changed man. He I can't, well, he's on like. He's Pro grounded or yeah. something. He's like an adult grounding. I go, Art, right, you go into the strip club? He goes, oh, I'm not allowed. I go, you're not allowed? He goes, no. Nah. He goes, that's one of the places where I'll go and drink. Right. Well, yeah. What's he going to do at who a would, club? Who, what idiot would drink at a strip club? <laughs> so I actually, uh, I, comes over. Ronnie's he, like the big dope. At he's the, the obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah. He's wearing a skull Mush. shirt. A skull, a skull shirt. <laughs> so then he, has he to likes to show off all of his ta weird tattoos. And because I was late, I Nobu I, has never seen such class. No. Because I was late, I was eating late. So I'm eating my dinner. He comes over and sits down next to me and fucking gets me in a headlock while I'm eating. God, drink something, eat something, and like oh you know, my God. drink something. <laughs> What's the matter yeah, with you? Drink yes, something. Yes, you did. I yes, you drink anything. You were spilling gin or whatever the fuck you had all over my oh shirt. My Ronnie's God. like showing Dude, him his glass. That's uh, such a lie. I saw you put the glass on the uh, Artie's and nose. And you were the one who told me to take my shirt off. What? Why do it? I never told you to take your shirt off. Oh, look at this. Take I... your shirt off. What do I give a fuck if you look take your shirt off? You were the one who told you was telling what? me to show your friend the tattoos, the oh. guy from the gym. I did? Yes, you I did. I never did that. Wow. I don't give Why a fuck. the hell would I take my shirt off if you didn't ask me to? No, my friend goes, what's with fucking Ronnie's tattoos? And I wasn't wearing a skull shirt, Artie. I was wearing a blue collared shirt. That was that no, wasn't you had a, a skull. I had a t-shirt underneath. Right. Yeah, and so shirt. when the guy told, he asked me to show the guy the tattoos, that's when I took he my shirt off. <laughs> why do I have to, why am I the one who always get my ass busted? Ron, because why? listen, you probably don't remember so this. You I do up. remember you, everything. You I had me in a fucking headlock. I was, I was, oh God, come on Artie, give me a break. Then huh? he gets up and he makes a speech. What was the speech? He goes, oh, it was he a goes, joke for God's sake. It was a sake. joke. He goes like this. He, goes, he wants to be funny like Artie is. I you know? wasn't trying to be funny. Because everyone a, said... He, dude, it was, it was a bachelor party. We were goofing around. So you know how everyone oh. you know, gets up and says a few words? Like Artie said a few words. He, you know, Ronnie wants to be like Artie. No, I don't want to be like Artie. Artie decided he yeah. had to be. Oh, okay. Plus he's in right. a classy... You know, he's not used yeah. to a classy right. restaurant. Right, exactly. <laughs> I'm used to being in a fucking diner. Yeah, so there's a lot of fucks. That's true. He curses yeah. now every other word. He right. became like a... That's his thing right. now. Curses. Every other word. Right. So he's in Nobu, which is a fancy restaurant. He's screaming at the top of his lungs, fuck it. What? Uh, uh, Richie leans over and he goes, oh, great. He goes 10 tables out the door. He's screaming, fuck <laughs> He's so, so full of shit. So this, Ronnie, that. That, this actually happened, Ron. This yeah, happened. Okay. I'm not making this All up. Right. All so right. Ronnie it gets happened. up and he goes, Fuck, man. He goes, I, Why yeah. are you getting Fuck married, man? man? Oh, that's what he kept saying. Why he goes, yeah, things what are you have doing? to change? <laughs> and I'm saying to myself, Well, this fucking what guy's are you not married. About? Why do things You're change? Not married. Yeah. How come you had to make that you change? You changed. What? The, I, 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 I was. <clears throat> Give me your speech. Tell your speech. No, I don't want to tell him. You know what, dude? I'm telling the truth. You know what? Don't ever invite me to anything again. I ever. didn't invite Don't, you. Yeah, I know. And you're probably I didn't invite you to that. I didn't have anything to do with who was there. Yeah. You know what? I heard that like Ross didn't invite Jeff Schick. I was kind of expecting Jeff to uh -huh. be there, and because uh, Jeff's like one of my guys. Yeah. And uh, but I didn't. I didn't know the guest list. It was a bachelor party. So uh, I show up. I heard Jeff's all pissed off at Ross. No, no, he's just. I, he's not pissed off. He's I think offended. he's hurt. I think he's hurt. He should be. He is a good guy. Yeah. Hey, he was... tell Robin who else showed up at your party. Who? Oh, oh, Chris Rock oh. was there. But he wasn't at our party. He was eating dinner there, and he came right, over and said right. hi. But then Ronnie goes, why are you getting married? The fuck are you doing? I didn't say that like that. Why, why not keep things, things exaggerated, exaggerated, okay? Keep right. things the same. I said, Beth is a great girl. You had everything you, you always said that. Why ruin it? I said, and I was saying basically the same thing.
That's what I said. Why the, ruin it? What do you give a fuck what I do? Because I want married, you to be fucking Jack happy. I am, don't you think I'm happy? I, yeah. Dude, forget it. Forget like it. Like I said, don't you invite me. Now, don't forget invite it. me to anything. I you don't invite, invite me to anything. I didn't I'll stay home and look out the fucking window, okay? Why don't you make a speech at the wedding? Because everything sure I do is great. wrong, okay? Ron, I'm, I'm having a good time. It was a bachelor party, okay? I wouldn't have said anything. I was anything. having a good time. I wouldn't have said anything, but you... God you forgive me for having a good time. Yes, I'm please, sorry. Please, please, God forgive him. <laughs> yeah. He's taking the drink. And, and, you, and he's you showing Artie the drink. You want him to start drinking? Get the fuck out of here. responsible. And my sobriety. Don't you care about his sobriety? Yeah, I really, yeah. I, I made him, I sent him to drink. Then they had these beautiful, Richie put out these beautiful uh, microphones. Oh, that God. He rented, that he, Ronnie broke one. I didn't break. They broke one. He, oh, there was a, there was a beautiful, the uh, listen, this gorgeous cake, one of those cakes that must have cost like two grand or uh -huh. something. Beautiful cake at, with, a with, microphone. A, with a microphone on okay. top. Ronnie grabs the microphone and just breaks it before anybody <sighs> took a picture of the cake. Uh, okay. <laughs> they yeah. had to reconstruct the mic and take a picture of the cake with the fucking mic. Okay. Oh, fuck wow. up. And then he hands me the mic. I'm like, I'm eating. I don't want the fucking microphone. I'm in a I headlock. Never got, I never in a headlock. A, I never got a beautiful picture of the cake. <laughs> I didn't know anybody was taking pictures. Yeah, that was the whole idea. Oh, the fucking oh, thing was like Picasso. I don't even pictures. remember a cake like that. I yeah, wanted okay. to show Robin, but you right. obviously don't want her to see it. anything. Right, I didn't want her to see all it. We, all you brought back right. was Ronnie. Right. At every bachelor party, the guys always make sure they get a picture of the cake. <laughs> right. Okay. I never went to a bachelor party that had a cake well, before no, that one. Dude, did you try some of that cake? It was great. Oh, my God, that was fantastic. What kind of shirt are you wearing under this shirt? Do you wear your skull shirt under no. every no, no, that was he, he had his like his, he had his bachelor. You know what it was? I think for, if we went to the strip club, oh, what does that, that mean? He would have his t-shirt yeah. on. His Why? Because he could show off your dude. Tattoos. I had a college shirt on, yeah, and I wouldn't have taken my shirt off. You asked me to show the guy. You Call the guy up. You love your tattoos. Whatever. I don't even know the guy's name. I don't know who you're talking about. The big tall trainer guy that works at Greg? your gym. No, the other guy. Greg. Greg. They're both named Greg. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> and then you said you to me, "You know the guy's name?" No, I ne I never met the guy before. You're taking your shirt off for him. No, he asked me to. What are you doing what I tell you to do? It was your he party. He tells you to get him a nice car. You don't <laughs> right. listen. He tells you yeah. to take I got him a nice car. Don't even start with that now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. No, I mean, it was just... Uh, right. yeah, well, anyway, I, was in full I, I, saw, I saw Beth, okay? Yeah. What happened was... Oh, good. Some of the guys left. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you... Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, you attacked her. I attacked her when I she got there. I told him not to marry you, and he yeah. said, you're right, Ronnie. Right. So what happened was a bunch of us decided we were going to hang out downstairs in the, at the bar in Noble. Right. So we were drinking downstairs. Right. And then uh, all Beth. of a sudden we hear, hey, how you the guys doing, guys? And she's wait, she was upstairs. Beth. Beth. Yeah, I know. With uh, two of her friends. Right. And that was it. She was all decked out, right? Am yeah. I right? Yeah. Nice bright red dress. Yeah. Oh, you really? I Barely was a dress. A mini dress? <laughs> a mini dress. Right. Mini dress. And I'm like... And she uh, was standing on the second level, so... You could see right up there, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, it's like a glass what floor. Color, what color panties was she wearing? Oh, I don't know. I didn't yeah, look. Yeah, you know. I didn't Please, look. I pervert. didn't look. He knows. I, didn't, he knows. I didn't look. He probably has that on his cell phone. I didn't look. Picture. <laughs> no picture of the cake. He sold, he sold it to upskirts.com. Yeah. Yeah. I got a, that Nobu. That it was a Thursday night. That Nobu is hopping, man. Oh yeah. Oh, there's so the, the bars got all hot chicks and. Yeah, but meanwhile, Richie. That's a place to be. Uh, uh, put us in a little private room there. I said to him, "Open up the. Let's see some hot chicks." Well, it's I a think, bachelor party. I think yeah, it was but, a good idea for the beginning of it. Yeah, thing. I think you would have. You would have been just as weird if we started at the beginning. You go, "Oh my God, everyone's staring at me." Not me. I love it. I love when people stare at He loves at me. to be stared at. <laughs> I love it. And then people would have been coming up to the table. As it was, once we opened the curtain, people were trying to come in and say hello. And... So you're telling me Ronnie oh. had too much to drink at your bachelor party? Yeah, he drank yeah, a lot. Oh, yeah. You, come on, you drank a lot. I had three drinks. Is that true? And you yeah. acting that retarded? I had three drinks. Wow. And somebody must maybe have spiked four. his you drink. You didn't have three, yeah. three No, maybe drinks? four. Maybe four. That was it. And I, I, I've become like the, the dick. I've done a 180 going, Ronnie, you're still on that dead end street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Artie's like the voice of reason. No, believe me, I'm not. Artie's the designated driver. When I'm sitting next to Ronnie, I'm the voice of reason. But do you look and say, oh, I hope I don't act like that when I'm drunk? Well, too late, too late to hope that. Right? Ronnie's definitely a fish out of water when he goes to like a fancy a restaurant. A fancy restaurant? Yeah. Does he not know What do they do? Them? But I like that. are in the back the room. What are we doing? Fuck, fuck you, fuck this man. So, fuck. Did you, Gary, did you hear me cursing all night? 
the spe- all night? No, the speech was here, here's the speech. What, here's maybe. What, the speech. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did it like speech. that. I did I'm it like, like that. Like, what, what, yeah, all right, all right. right. Yeah, okay. Like, go look at the level yeah. of my friend. Yeah. Was, it feels like we're back at Nobu. Yeah. That's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dead on, Ronnie. <laughs> really? Yeah, okay. That Thank might be you. The best impression Artie's ever done. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly what it was. It's yelling and you yell. Right. Sit down. It's fucking eating. Fuck a whore. <laughs> I mean, I like it because I look like the Prince of Wales. <laughs> no, you do. You're like class. You're like personified. You're, you know who you're like? You're like a, like a, like a prince. Like Mario Cuomo. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Always distinguishing yourself, aren't you? He was Always. alive for the party. I got nothing to say to you. Always got a oh, Ronnie, make Ronnie made it easier an for appearance. Ronnie made it easier for everyone who had to do a toast after him because you just had to open with, "Well, I can't be as bad as Ronnie." <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it was a uh, it was a very nice dinner. Did you enjoy yourself? I Were did you enjoy. Glad it. you did it. I did. I enjoyed right. it. It was it was a nice night. Oh, there's nothing like the food at that oh, place. Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> oh, stop. Thank you for <laughs> your speech. Throwing down microphones. As happy as he was at Nobu, he's just as miserable now. His, Artie's impression of that speech was identical to what it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie in Ronnie mode, yeah. and it sounds like that. Sounds feasible, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ronnie, can't remember what you said. Yeah, right. I know what I said. <laughs> What'd you say, dude? Yeah, Come right. on. Hey, Will. Well, don't follow me. You gotta chill out, man. Yeah, I gotta chill out. I gotta <laughs> behave myself. <laughs> Getting too crazy at these parties. Right. Exactly. You're not, some, a, you're yeah. not a young guy anymore. You yeah, gotta some party. mellow out. Yeah, some party. What, it wasn't a good bachelor party? Is that what you're trying to say? Some party. What are you trying to say? I made a joke, and it's it's like you, you committed murder. You know. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I had a great time. Oh, it was it was awesome. <laughs> what was your favorite it was part amazing. of the, What was your favorite part of the evening? Going home. <laughs> so Gary, how was Artie's impression of Ronnie at the bachelor party? Was that pretty accurate? Dead on. <laughs> it really was dead on. I mean, Ronnie's saying that he was yelling fuck a lot, fairly loudly. He probably didn't realize he was as loud as he was. And he totally did that whole rap about not marrying Beth. What are you doing? Why do things have to change? And listen, Ronnie would thought he was being funny, and it just it was I don't know, it just sort of fell flat. Like what happens as he's giving the speech? Does everyone just like look at each other and yeah, we sort of look at it. We, that, that's just sort of, you know, listen. Whenever you're in a situation like that, you're always happy when somebody besides you becomes the center of attention for Howard to talk about on Monday. Hey, so uh, Gary, what happened to the Mets? You know, oh boy. You know oh, that right. whole thing oh, was man. so orchestrated for disaster. I have to say, I'm not a big baseball fan. You so. know how nice I've been this morning? Do you know how many times I've bit my tongue? Right, you didn't say it right away. Well, you know, Shea Stadium, this was really on a collision course. Shea Stadium, it was the last game, and the way the Mets were playing so erratically... Think about it. Last game, everyone's emotional. They're bringing out all the famous Mets from yeah. past years because they're closing down Shea Stadium. It's the end. And the and final how game. And for them. And the last game, <laughs> you knew it was coming down to the Mets were choking. <laughs> and now they had, all they had to do was win. Yeah. One game. Florida Marlins. And what? What? Florida Marlins, yeah. who, by the way, did this to them last on the same year. day last two years in a row, a team that had no shot at the playoffs. No franchise. Paraded on, at both at Shea Stadium, paraded around happily. To keep the Mets out of the playoffs. Florida Marlins, who have been in in the major leagues for 12, ooh, ooh, 12 years, have just as many championships as yeah. the Mets. Yeah. Oh. So anyway. Ah! Oh. <laughs> See, this is all I hear when I hear the Mets lost. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on the final oh, day can we pull Shea. a tape of last week? Oh, I, I we're, gonna, we're the Yanks watching the playoffs. <laughs> Fuck you. The, the same place the Mets are, yeah. you prick. <laughs> from a golf course. <laughs> Talk about a downer. They, who do they have there at the final game? Howard, like Howard, the final game, they brought out every Met of any importance, even some who hadn't played for the Mets for long. You had your Willie Mays. You had your Yogi Berra. Your Tom Seaver. All I, famous for being with other teams, by the way. Howard, by the way, Gary's doing this really crazy thing. What? Every time someone brings up the Mets to him, he brings up Paul Newman. Like, like people are busting his balls outside, so he's like going, how can we even talk about baseball today? The big story is Paul Newman. He's a great actor. That, that, Artie, that so didn't happen. No, no, that's what happened. Like, no, because Scott, Scott said Ryan Howard, who's a Philly. And Gary went, all right, Paul Newman. I just ignored him. No, but I didn't you... bring it, in other words, he said Ryan Howard. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking deal with him. So I was talking to John about Paul Newman. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I just I was ignoring him. That's the story. It's not that I'm bringing up Paul Newman. <laughs> the, Artie, How can 
can we even talk about baseball? How can you choke on your own laughter? Which is oh. <laughs> How could we talk about baseball? That's secondary. Except Paul I Newman is dead. Well, you know I didn't say that. Right? I know, but that's your attitude. No, no, you know I didn't, I didn't say that at all. He said Ryan You wouldn't Howard. even have mentioned Paul Newman today if the Mets won. Of course they did. The fucking guy died. Right, so. I, I love Paul and Newman. And the, the Mets season died. Oh. But, but you're, you're trying to make a joke that doesn't exist. Well, I okay, you know what? You're right. That was in my... But Scott DePace thought the same thing. Oh, well, Scott DePace is stupid. <laughs> oh. During my one-month college career, I took a disgusting shit in front of a crowd of total strangers while blowing Keith Hernandez and Daryl Strawberry. Ooh. I was a little drunk, oh. so I fucked Robin in her asshole with hot dogs and butt plugs. And then Howard put me on his shoulders so I could shit out some heroin into his mouth, <laughs> which wasn't easy under the circumstances. You know, you know what was great about that? The engineer who did that at the book place, at the audio book place, I walk out and he goes, I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robin, go ahead and wrap up. Please. Yes, uh, speaking Robin, of the uh, Mets. Yes. Don't do this. Paul Newman died. How could you bring this up? <laughs> we already talked about him, so I have to talk about something Don't else. Don't be stupid. Man. There were a lot of long faces <laughs> in Flushing, New York yesterday <laughs> as the Mets played their final game ever at Shea Stadium <laughs> and lost to the Florida Marlins 4-2. You know what happened? The last World Series game ever. <laughs> Mets fans will appreciate this, though. The last World Series game ever at Shea Stadium. The Yankees beat them. <laughs> oh, God, you're sick. For the second straight year, the Mets were eliminated from postseason play on the final day. And the, the shittiest season. team in fucking baseball. Imagine Here's... on the last day, the stadium, everyone's there. You think they would have come through? And Gary's so right. What a dumb move. They 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 schedule the celebration after the game. Yeah. Play That's three some six. Three six. All right. Bad timing. I've been a season ticket holder for 10 years. This is the biggest disgrace in New York sports history ever. <laughs> That's one of the fans. That's a fan. After the games, most fans stayed for a moving ceremony with great players like Mike Piazza, Tom Seaver, Dwight Gooden, Howard Johnson, and Mookie Wilson. The think, Mets Think how many played. people would have stayed if they'd won. Yeah, and had <laughs> right. a party. All right. 45 seasons at Shea Stadium and will play next season at the new City Field, which is located right next door. They're going to start an entire new era of tragedy at a new field. <laughs> yeah, Dan, you're on the air. Hey, what's going on, Howard? Hey. I just wanted to ask uh, Gary Delabonte there what he thinks of uh, the Mets. Uh, two weeks ago, he was talking shit, saying, telling Artie that, you know, the Mets are still going to be playing and the Yankees are done, and now we got the Phillies, took them all out. That's right. And Gary's sitting there like, hey, boss, I don't know what to do. Mm. Now yeah, I think we should have covered that, douchebag. If you've been listening all morning, we covered it. Not really. I we covered it, but I called in two and a half hours ago, and nobody picked me up, so now i got to get my, my frustration out. Sir, anything on Paul Newman? Uh, yeah, The Hustler and uh, The Color of Money were his two best movies. Paul Newman said he was glad he was dying because he didn't have to watch The Mets lose. <laughs> Could you, Gary, are you, will you finally now... Raise, oh, your, fuck you. Go fuck raise your kids to be Yankee fans. These poor kids, the last three years, <laughs> like they've got this father hammering home this awful team into their head, and they just get set up for disappointment after disappointment. It's horrible. He's got a point. Why not raise I, I Jackson began to and think Lucas? That myself why not, yesterday. That raise, why not raise Jackson and Lucas to be Yankee fans? What if they were Padres fans? That's what would already uh, Then they'd be much. gay. They're from New York. I will tell you that Jackson was so upset yesterday. I mean, he was like, like the, first of all, two nights before, when they lost, he was like throwing things. Just getting into that period where he just gets—he really lives and dies with the team. Do you know yeah. what? They're, you're training them to be losers. You're training them like they're going to be okay. They have what do you think? Fun. The Yankees are on course to have some great. Uh, you think that? You, you think, think they're going to have another around. run? You think, you think they're going to have another run? The Yankees. Listen to me. You think I'm joking around? What's the most important thing in a kid's life when he's Jackson's age? So everybody in Pittsburgh is gay. Answer the no, question. No, 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 the Pittsburgh me. Pirates fans are all not gay. That, not gay. Well, they they're, live in they're, Pittsburgh. They're, you have two teams, the two teams to choose from. And you and so his point is, why not go with the team that wins more? Right. Because let me tell you something. Had we been with, if we were in a different era, the Yankees couldn't win a game between 1965 and 1977. Right. So then, at that point, the Mets would have won a World Series. Had been to another one, you go, gee, support the Mets. Well, the that's Yankees why. Suck. But that's it's why you're cyclical. a Mets fan. That's why it, you're a Mets. It's fan. very cyclical. That's why you're a Mets fan. If you had trained them to be Yankee fans, they'd already have four championships in their lifetime. Of okay. Their favorite team. It's, I mean, listen, the, these poor kids. I'm not. I'm not a front runner. Would you sit? Uh, I had season tickets. Would you I'd actually go to the game. Would you ever tell them? That you're converting as they a They can do whatever they want, but I'm not converting. Uh -huh. Well, no. Well, he's their dad. They want to look up to him. I mean, you know, my father taught me to be a Yankee fan. You know, it's like... Uh... It'd probably be strange for them the first two months, but by the next year, they'll be ecstatic when they... Yeah, when they them. win. If Gary died tomorrow and left you his kids, Artie, would you convert them to Yankee fans? Absolutely. You would? Absolutely. Hmm. That's a good one. You wouldn't uh, keep the Mets fans out of respect for their father? 
I would tell them the only thing you should do that I do is root for the Yankees. <laughs> Everything else you shouldn't do. Right. That's Ralph, the one go ahead. thing you got right. Mm-hmm. You get that at all, Howard. I mean, like, like if Gary, like you're saying, if Gary was a Yankees fan, the kids would be Yankees fans. It's well, like of they course. Don't, they don't give a shit. Well, no, but they, he, 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 listen, there's something, when you have sons, you enjoy going to a game they together. They now care. You're bond- they bond over yeah. it. But now they're all upset, uh, you know. Yeah, Ralph, it's Ralph, it's, it's no, it's, you go, you collect fucking action figures. And you why, have a passion why, for why something you retarded. You switch to the Yankees because they're young. They can switch. You wouldn't know teams. anything about any sort of sports loyalty. You I pick, know you, you pick your horrible. teams based on their colors. The Mets are horrible. Based on their uniforms. You know what this well, is, Gary? What else is there to be a fan of? What else I, is but how gay, say that again, Ralph, so everybody in the audience knows how gay you are. Why are you a man? But say, say it against everyone knows how gay you are. You why pick are your you teams based on their uniforms. Why I'll tell you why he's a Mets fan. You... Ralph, I'll tell you why. Yeah, why? When you're a kid growing up on Long Island, mm-hmm. Shea Stadium is close to you. Right. And if you have a father who's into sports and right. likes to watch baseball, say, son, let's go to the game together. Yeah, but... And yeah, go, but his father didn't grow up watching the Mets. No, my dad, my dad, his dad was a, would my, take him to the Shea Stadium. If you grew up, on, on, up on Staten Island, hold you're close to the city dump. You're not a fan of garbage. Oh, no, Stop. Just no, shut no, the no, fuck no, up. No, no. So my, what happens is you become, like, my dad used to take me. I never went to Yankee Stadium. Shea Stadium was near me. So you would go and you'd see the yeah, Mets. Yeah, but I'm just wondering who yeah, but his dad was a can't you just go to a, a game and enjoy it? Not be, like, neurotic No, about but it? you become a, he's see, you're, a fan you're, and you're, the kids are a fan. They become fans. No, but how, see, you say like, this all the time. No, listen, if yeah. you, you get, you, your kids have a choice. In other words, if you could choose whether or not your son is gay or not, you would choose not gay just because he'd have an it's easy, easier for him. It's right. easier in life. Right. The same exact thing. It's the same thing here. He's a Mets fan or a Yankees fan. You make I, him a Yankees fan because he has an easier life. He'd be happy. But it's except, so for the, except for except for what? So what about that period where the Yankees just sucked? Right, I, I didn't want to get that's back. Not, that, that's, you, that's, that's, yeah, the that's the sixties. That's the sixties. Gary, yes. Who's worse about this, Artie or Ralph? Well, Ralph, Ralph doesn't isn't allowed to talk because he, he he doesn't know anything about sports. He's not, you know, he's soulless when it comes. He's like, I can't understand why anybody would be, you know. It's like he's fucking soulless when it comes to that. Homosexuals should not be allowed to talk about sports. (laughs) Why is that? Because they don't understand it. There's a gene. Well, not all gays. Just gays. Just gays like Ralph. (laughs) He doesn't understand sports. He really doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't understand the intricacies of the game. He has no. He's soulless. He has no passion about anything except superheroes. Okay. So what do you think is dumber, me being into a baseball team or him? sitting around waiting for his Iron Man stand-up to show up. Hi, this is heroin addict Darty Lang, and I uh, want to talk to the parents out there. Uh, if you're raising kids in the tri-state area, please avoid raising them as Met fans. Kids have enough adversity in the schools nowadays, trying not to fall under the wicked arms and hands of drug dealers and uh, having a major disappointment in their life, like rooting for the Mets when they're always, always on the uh, losing side of, of any season. Uh, it's just one more inferiority complex that these kids have to deal with, and it could lead to drugs, drinking, and a lot of other things. So please, raise your kids as Yankee fans. I- By the way, if you look to the right, that's our bowling trophy. That's, there's a TV show coming out on Howard TV. Look at the size of that thing. Is I'm that a beauty? I'm telling you, that's as big as a per, as big as Beetlejuice, at least. It's as tall as Beetlejuice. <laughs> that is the actual trophy, and I thought of it because Scott, the engineer, is going to be on the bowling show. He, Howard TV, will debut, I think, in May. Is it, Scott? The Sometime program? in the middle of May. We had a meeting yesterday. It's it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, he's so excited about his yeah. TV show. It's called Bowling Beauties. It's going to be women. In high heel bowling shoes <laughs> and thongs and bikinis and topless. I'm not sure. Is there going to be some topless? I think there um, might be. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's up to the bowlers. Isn't yeah. It? Anyway, there is the bowling trophy. Uh, this is what the winner, the winner of Bowling Beauties, is going to take home. <laughs> that, that the girl won't even be able to lift yeah. that. I saw the pictures of all the girls. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh now, listen, my god. Do me a favor. When you're on that show, just be serious with your bowling commentary. No, I don't want to hear you. No, fucking we discussed that, and that's foaming at the mouth. There's not like going to be any. Child. There's not going to be fooling around well, the don't you or bad jokes. <laughs> I don't know what I want. <laughs> no, we're going to describe I want serious it's, bowling it's commentary. It's going to be, you know, I'd like to the, nail her seven ten split. <laughs> no, nobody wants Scott's to, saying there won't be any bad jokes. Like good jokes is an option for him. <laughs> it's just creepy when Scott gets sexual. There's, with the there's girls. not going to be any any of that. All right. Don't worry. The girls are the stars of the show. All right. Not me or I saw those shoes. I have bowling shoes older than her. The high heel bowling shoes? Yeah, yeah, they're amazing. Awesome. So anyway, that is the trophy, and that'll be debuting on Howard TV, an original series, Bowling Beauties. 
Good Lord, what's going on on that trophy? You see, you see the one <laughs> argument. There's so many I have, levels. Well, on the top level is a woman bowling, but she's wearing a skirt. I thought she should, she have, should had, have had a bikini. Yeah, but that's okay. What do you got there, Scott? What are you showing us? On the bottom, what is that? No, it was backwards. They had it backwards. It says Howard Stern's Beauties on the bottom. Oh, I see. In the, on the engraving. But why does it say Howard Stern? It's, the show's called Bowling Beauties. Howard TV's Bowling Beauties. What does it say, Scott? <laughs> Howard TV's Bowling Beauties. Right. Howard TV's Bowling Beauties oh, Champion 2008. Well, that's okay. Wow. That's good. Very nice. What's that thing weigh, do you think? Ten. Ten pounds? Oh, my God. It's got to weigh more than that. Put it on the scale, Scott. See if we can get a number on Stick it on the scale. See how much the trophy weighs. But anyway, for those of you who have Howard TV, you'll be seeing that. I'm excited about it. Where do you put that thing once you win? Um, Up your ass. (laughs) 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Wow. Look at that. Look at that, Robin. That is amazing. There's no tape. You need a whole display case for that. How do you dance to this? Is this dance? Like you have uh, epilepsy. Yeah, is this dance music? (laughs) Actually, it is. It's got a good beat. It does? Yeah. Yeah, if you're high on ecstasy in a club, you would be dancing. I'm such a white man. I I so wouldn't even know what to do to this. I'd be lost. I would just stand there and let girls dance. <laughs> well, that's what you're supposed to do. You're a czar. I'm a guy. <laughs> so you do try to dance, though, when you yeah, go Yeah, I do. Club. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but I don't know how to do it. You want to see me dance to this? Go ahead. All right. Here, look at this. <laughs> That's just enough now before you look goofy. What happens when you hear the music? Can you really hear the music? <laughs> Could you move your hips if I put I a gun to your head? Look, I'm moving it. Watch. Oh there you my go. god. <laughs> That's some dance. <laughs> it's the Heine dance. And if you got the right kind of ecstasy, you could dance to like garbage cans have, being beat up do and down. Do, do you know how to dance at all? Let me see your move. I mean, you know, I've gone to clubs and I try to do it because of chicks. And I, after this, I probably go like. <laughs> oh, you're good. But he's good. I wish I could dance like Artie. the face you're making. <laughs> That's the best part about it. <laughs> Same face he makes when he shits. Oh. Now that I'm out of breath. All right. Oh, did that exhaust you? Hey guys, <laughs> yeah. Back to my uh, coffee cake. The guys are telling me that uh, that JD's a pretty good dancer. I don't oh, really? Stop it. It. Let me see that little creep dance. You show us what to do. I'm like Justin Timber nerd. <laughs> Justin Timber nerd? Yeah, I'm Justin Timber nerd. <laughs> Can he really dance? Let's see. No fucking way. Let me see. He Maybe doesn't look like a dancer. I'll do what he does if he's good. All right. Teach me how to dance. I don't. Dance. You don't? You're always listening to techno music. I, I, just, you know, I don't dance, dude. I, I, I listen I, to I, it. Put that song back on. You got it. I'll dance friend. with him. Show me what to do. I don't know what to do. Right, let's go. <clears throat> How's this? Get it, JD. Yeah, yeah. Let me see what you do. Let me see. Oh, he's pretty. Oh, that's oh, good. Oh, look, you got moves. Come on. <laughs> 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 you. Just teach me how to do that. Let me see what oh, you do. Oh, no, you just got you know, you're not bad. Just this. How do I look doing this? You're good. That's good. But then what do I do? Just this all night? Yeah, that's it. You don't have anything but that? If, like, you're in, like, a, a club, this is all the room you get anyway. Let me see what like you do it. with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what you do with your feet. Throwing yeah. things. You just keep moving back and forth like that? <laughs> yeah. You ever do so- anything else? You don't move your... Why is that so good? Right? Not- because it's with the beat, and it's it's not <laughs> fasting. See, you're, you're not moving, Go really. Let's watch. Then... Give me a chance to get into it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How am I doing now? <laughs> do it again, JD. Let me see you again. Yeah. Do it. I'll imitate you. See, look at him. A little fucking nerd dance like that. <laughs> Howard's still leaving with the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> This is how I move. Watch. Uh, <laughs> this is what Betsy. <laughs> dog. That's what I do. I go. Oh, right, we found something JD can do. Oh, you're JD not bad. Can Look at you, you coordinated motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I could. Uh, I, 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 you know what? You can dance. You're a good guy. Howard's leaving with the pussy because he's Howard, and Jared's leaving with the pussy because he looks like Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Who? I'm taking dance tips from a guy that couldn't get laid with Ryan Phillippe. I know. <laughs> I mean, that really is pathetic. Did you dance <laughs> at the club? Uh, not that much. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> See, they are hating on you because you can move, JD. Yeah, that's Just pretty realize good. that. I'm going right. to cop your move if you don't mind. Like, to cop whatever you want. 
can't believe I'm copping something you have, but I want it. Ryan Phillippe texted me and said, uh, this JD shit is hilarious. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. When was that? Well, you know, he heard on the show the next day. Uh, about JD's trip to I, the I, villa? I don't know. We went to Ryan Phillippe. We were hanging out with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a sausage party. Well, why did you leave the club? I don't know. It's a, a party. And then the club said, was closing. club was closing. <laughs> but then you went to an apartment with his, those guys. If they're with him, they got to know a ton of broads. I mean, like, you went to an all-guy party afterwards? It was just, no, it wasn't like a party. It was just like, you know, chilling down. Or chilling? Like, cooling oh, chilling. down. I'm sorry. So, see, when Jason dances, he's the world's worst dancer. I got to see Jason. Hey, Jason, oh, come in here. No. So let's see if he's worse than me. It's really, you know what, Howard? Uh, he's actually let's into a, it. Let's have a dance-off. You know what, Howard? I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. And it's really, it'll give you do shells. Are you really bad? Jason, how bad are you at dancing? I don't know. I, I mean, people make fun of me when I right, dance. We're gonna have a really dance off. Robin, you're going to be the I'll judge because right. right. you're a chick, and I want. And I'm going to. I'll. I'll compete. Jason, you're the first one to compete. All right, all right, go ahead. <laughs> Do it for real, man. Oh, oh, just, this oh, that's real. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. we're telling you, <laughs> this is real. All right, let him get into it. Don't laugh at him, Jason. Yeah, the, the song hasn't chance. picked up yet, dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the beat. That's the problem. The song. Is that horrible? You gotta lose weight, dude. <laughs> yeah. Is that so bad? Is he? Yeah. He's terrible. He is. What? No, come on, baby. <laughs> come on, See, that is—that's the guy you want to run from in the dance floor. Yeah, I mean, who's going near him? <laughs> All right, that's who's okay. Going near any of us. <laughs> All right, this is Dancing with the Stars. All right, thank you, Jason. All right. All right, number two. All right, JD, you're up. Go. This is your audition for Robin. Go ahead. I'm going to do what J- JD's doing. That looks, one, that looks it's easy. one move. Yeah. I don't, all right. It's all I got. Do more. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> all right. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, you want to compete, Gary? No, we want to know if Robin can be in the dance No, I'm yeah. the judge. She's the judge. <laughs> Gary, get in here and compete. Oh, wait. A, a black person is going to judge us? <laughs> well, of course. What would Who you expect? Else? Who else are you going to get? A white person? And so you're Hold right. on. Gary, you're up next. <laughs> Gary. I gotta see. I never seen, I've seen Fred dance. I went to a dance with him once. Oh, really? I don't think I've ever seen. Fred We took dance. a chick to the prom. <laughs> he dances like Gary the Retard. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, you saw Fred dance in 1983? <laughs> no, Fred and I just started throwing people around the dance floor. We didn't even try. They, they began moshing. We were doing Freddy of Freddy and the Dreamers. There you go. Go ahead, go ahead, Gary. You're up. Are you writing this stuff down, Robin? I don't have to write. Look he danced like that's like every guy at a Springsteen concert. <laughs> Gary, I think you're Does worse than me. Does it matter what song is on? I think Fa Fa Fo High is Can worse than me. Can I do X's? Him. That's what they said. This is called the X's. What J.D. was doing. That is not what J.D. was doing. You're, you're stiff, bro. That's called the no sexes. <laughs> All right, who's next? Fred, I want to see All right, Fred, I don't right. dance. Come on. Come on. Don't be a puss. We're all going to go. I'm dancing. You want me to go not first? Not happening. Oh, I'll go first. Fred, get up there. Nah, I'm not a dancer. Not dancing. You want me to go? You go, on. Hate it. <laughs> Fred's, a, Fred's a fucking dead I don't, I don't like dancing. You're killing Fuck the party. Off. Sorry. You're off the dance party. <laughs> Go ahead, Artie. Can Artie, Artie, Artie's, serious. <laughs> Artie's serious about it. He took off his jacket. He needs a dance floor. Look at him. He's going to a new Don't location. fuck around. Do a real dance. If you were really trying hard, there was a hot chick around and you're yeah. really trying. That Brianna's here and you want to impress her. Yeah, Brianna's here and you want to impress her. If Brianna was here, I would not be dancing. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. There he goes. Just your sweatpants. He's good. Wow. Yeah. He's great. <laughs> you know you're good? Is that real, Artie? There's not even any music on. Are you listening to the music? doesn't matter. This is me at, uh, at Temptations in Seaside Wait. Heights, 1980. Artie, look at me. Take your time. Artie, are yeah, you going to be okay? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Woo. Yeah, I can dance to this. Oh, he is good. Look there at him. <laughs> hey, you're good. I don't think I can beat him. <laughs> you think he's bad? Look at him. He's not horrible. Yeah, he's not that bad. <laughs> All right, Scott the Pace is next after Artie. Oh, oh Scott Salem, too. Scott Salem has to go, too. Oh, Scott the Engineer. I'm doing the rap! <laughs> Oh, he's pretty good. He's doing a lip sync. Are you guys fucking high? <laughs> he's good? Artie's good. You know what? A girl would be like, oh, that's funny. I could dance with him. It's not. 
I better wear my bank account on my shirt. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you going to pass out? No, but I love this song. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Look at him. Artie. Fuck. Go sit Artie. down. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Don't try to be physically fun. Oh, why don't you dance every afternoon, though? He can't even make it back to his chair. He's going to lay down on the couch for a few minutes. <laughs> you need oxygen? I'm serious. Man. Talk to me. You all right? Yeah. You just gave yourself a heart attack. You There's know, a defibrillator in the kitchen, I think. We'd better invest in a team. Plus, uh, sneakers on a rug, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to dance on this rug, by He's, the way. He didn't wear his dancing shoes. No, I dance for you. Know. Scott, you dance? Not really. Let me see. <laughs> all right, give him that song. Give me some music, Fred. Here we go, dude. Let the judge say, J.D., you turd. Hit it. <laughs> he is good. Well, you know, I used to do this stupid thing when I DJed. You know, I used to just stand just stand there behind the equipment and just bounce like this. You know, well, just, we it was exciting it. stuff. All right, here I go. I'm going to go. Right. Uh-oh. Now, for real. You got to go out here. No. I'm doing it for real. What do you mean, for real? <laughs> 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 Isn't there a rule about not having your hands go above your shoulders? All right, I'm gay. (laughs) Hey, you know I want to see dance Ronnie the limo driver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's great. God, he gets crazy on the dance floor. I think I'm winning so far. (laughs) Oh, bullshit! You didn't even go out in the center. I'll go in the center. (laughs) Artie hasn't been able to see your move. Oh my god, Ronnie looks like a... <laughs> Ronnie looks like he just stole some apples with his buddies on, on the Lower East Side. That? Ronnie looks evil. Where'd you learn to dance so good? <laughs> he goes to that uh, strip club all the time. That's how he knows how to dance. Actually, you can't get Playboy mud flaps for your limo unless you dance like that. <laughs> Ronnie, you're good. You want to dance with him? I do. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm going to die. <laughs> you look great, Ron. You look great. Encore, encore, encore. Yeah. Come on, oh. baby. Yeah. Do the fight dance. Oh. Yeah. The JD oh. dance. Let's hey. see those feet. Hey. Let's see those feet. There's no music. Yeah. 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 The dance That's how you cut a rug, sir. I do. I, 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 uh, I dance. I don't dance. Good, but I dance. Yeah, hit hey, hey, Ronnie though. He's the man. Come on, dance, boy. Did you see fucking Ronnie? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Come on, move it. Encore. Yeah, encore. Encore. No. encore. Encore. Give me an encore, sir. No encores for you, shake man. Shake it. Come on, shake it a little bit. No, no man. I didn't know you. I didn't take know it you off from... your. Take it off your shit in there. I didn't know your hips could swivel like That's that. That's it. Get the fuck out of here. You telling me JD wins? Yeah, of all the the cool moves for JD, but I was, good. JD. But I was doing it. what JD Artie did. Was, no, you weren't. I wasn't. No. Shit. First of all, you're locked up. Most yeah. of you doesn't move. I know. It's hard. I'm very tall. <laughs> What's that got to do with you? It's hard for me to move all shoulder. the body parts. You're at like one. your arms are like this, swinging around, like they don't relate to the rest of your. Yeah, body. you're right. Michael Jordan's your height. It looks like he can't move at all. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you, Robin. Wait, wait, wait. JD's better than me. Cool, at least on yeah. the dance floor. Cool. You'd be number two, number but, two. But because you're comedic. <laughs> I you dance like number two. <laughs> I could, you know, Artie, Artie went for funny, and I should have done it. Yeah. I did not go for funny. <laughs> you did You think too. I could dance seriously? I hate losing to these guys. <laughs> All right, JD, you win. At the end of the day, Howard, you're winning. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, you could actually take JD's moves and do something with them. Uh, JD. He's, not, he's got um, moves he's got not using. JD, you're going to you're gonna teach me how to dance. <laughs> you're going to be back in my office later teaching me. All right. All right. That's David. hilarious. Okay. Da- step right. on the one. <laughs> uh, 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 all right. JD. Yes. Was it good to actually get out there and show him your moves? No. Come on, man. I've seen you move before. At least I, at least I went at something around here. With Kimberly Kane, I've seen you move. <laughs> Come on, I was there. Yeah, that was some moving. Hey, I want to see Lisa G dance. I bet you she's good. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Hey, Lisa, come in here. She's probably spent some time in the club. Let's go, Lisa G. She, she used to work with all rappers. Party, dance with Lisa G. Yeah, come on. Go right. ahead. Here, watch her. I bet you she's good. Oh, you got to put you your go. headphones on, though. Artie's going to get I mean, on the dance floor again? Oh, I meant Ronnie. Let Ronnie, Ronnie. dance with her, because Artie will have a heart attack. No, 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 no. Artie, 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 Artie. Artie, 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 Artie get in there. All right. Don't kill him. You know what they say, the way a man dances is the way he is in bed. Well, that's what I'm looking at, and these there guys are go. pretty pathetic. What do you mean, exhausted? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, short, short amount of time. Put some music on. Let me see you, you dance, Lisa. Well, I, I bet you Lisa's good. Is there another set of Oh, yeah, Lisa is good. Yeah. See? Woo! 
I can't see Lisa Artie. <laughs> He's going to kill her. Oh, she is good. She's rubbing her whole ass into Artie's penis. <laughs> <laughs> Let her dance. I want to see you dance, Lisa. I am with Artie. Artie has your shirt on. Ow, his belly. <laughs> Let me see you dance. Look at her. She can really move. This isn't a good song, though, I don't think. Yes, it is. This is Artie's song. But she moves pretty sexually. I got to say, I'm impressed. If Artie wasn't blocking my view, I could see anything. <laughs> She's got moves. Woo! Come on, Robin. No, thank you. I'm with Fred. I don't dance. She is good. <laughs> I'm on block her right. All right. I got to tell you. I'm out of breath. I'm seeing you in a whole different light. Really? Yeah. Mm. Like wow. How? Like like a red light? <laughs> no, like, a, like sexual. Really? That move was very sensuous. You haven't really? seen her in a sexual light yet? <laughs> I always think of her as a newswoman. Yeah, well, that's, you know. By the way, you I love to dance. I used to take dance classes at the gym and stuff. Is you move right? really well. Honey. Newswoman Thank for me you. is like number a long distance Dancing number five on my list. best exercise. There's this new show, Step Up and Dance with Elizabeth Berkley. I watch that. You're in the best shape. Well, look at Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. yeah. You know, for a uh, newswoman. You were trying to rub your cock onto Lisa's no, ass. No, Try no, no way. His... Oh, his belly. <laughs> no, but you even you, moved your ass into his cock, she, she and you were it. like rubbing into it. Yeah, no, I did. I felt something uh, like. You, are you wearing a belt buckle? Uh, you keep asking for it. You're going to get it. Or maybe that was something. Else. That was no belt buckle. Yeah, I mean, you know that, was, that, was, that was no belt buckle. That was my cock. You can't get a belt. <laughs> you know, look, look at Artie. Waist? Look at him moving right in on it. That's look a little Artie. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, he's got your shirt up. Is he got his shirt up? <laughs> I, pants now. I look like a hippopotamus. <laughs> I like how you that pull is... Lisa G's whole shirt up. Well, that's, that was a good move. That was cool. Move, man. You're cool. Hey, look, they were dancing belly to back. Boy, Artie's a good dancer. Be be my belly, I was eight feet away from her. My belly was on her back. <laughs> Artie, did you finish? <laughs> you look she like thought you're... that was a belt buckle. Give me a little time. Actually, you know, I tell you what, though. She is sexy, man. I, t I felt her stomach. and man, she was Really? Sexy. Yeah, you sexy. Though. I would be really? done in like a second. No kidding. I would be dead. You would crush me. <laughs> he almost crushed what me you on weigh? the dance floor. You've got to weigh under 100. No, no, I She's don't like really 90 weigh. Pounds. No. You, weigh, you weigh under 100. No, no. Because I'm muscular, so that weighs more. 109, probably. She's yeah. built like Dana. She's like, Dana's going to look like her in like 40 years. <gasps> I mean, 30. Oh, How is she? <laughs> look who's talking, Mr. Wide Load. <laughs> Well, anyway, let, let's, let's get to the. On he knows how to you charm a woman. Have a yes. love hate relationship. No, no, no. I think but when you think of newswoman first, I, newswoman's like number five for me. I think of first, I think of Great Baker, then I think of uh, sexual uh, chick, then I think of enormous pain in the ass. All right, Billy, you're on the air. Oh, marriage Morrison. material. Go ahead, Billy, you're on the air. You guys are insane. I just I don't like to say anything bad about people, and I'm not saying Addy's heavy or anything like that. <laughs> He got up to dance, and my receiver came out of the dock. <laughs> You're saying when Artie was dancing, the receive your receiver came out of the docking station? I, you, I had to pull over. It almost hit me in traffic. <laughs> you, uh, you Boston guys have a great sense of humor. Lisa, what are you doing here? You got to show off your dancing repertoire. That's it. You Take know, because I'm wearing more. my flats today, so it's easy. <clears throat> That's okay. That was so much fun, Greg. You got a little bit uh, sensual with Artie there. Really? That yeah. was so much fun. He's fun. Does Just, this open know. the doors of a uh, possible romance between the two of you? Oh, uh, no. Now that you know you can dance and grind up on each yeah, other a little bit? Yeah, but, you know, some guys you just have fun with. Some guys you date. You said you mentioned you can tell a lot by the way a guy dances. Yeah, Artie's is probably good in bed. Really? Yep. So why not date him? I mean, no, he's funny, he's, he's smart. Oh, yeah. He can oh, dance, my God. which, as you put it, He would to... die. You would have a heart attack on the dance floor. Are you yeah, kidding but... me? Why should you I know what happened with these. I know what happened him. with these two idiots. Why they go to these shows to and these fans pull them aside and Bullshit. go, you, should, "You guys should have an album. Bullshit. You guys should put out Rod and oh, you know." What do you got a fucking crystal? crystal to him. What do you got a crystal ball in your fucking stomach? I know exactly stomach. what happened. Know I know exactly you know, what happened. You don't know anything about what the fans say on the road and how much I fucking stand up for you, fat fucking idiot. You don't know because shit because they say that half of, they go. How do you put up with Artie walking all over? I go, Artie's great at what he does, and I oh yeah, I challenge anybody that I talk to off the air at those stupid comedy shows how they rip you apart and I defend Richard, you. What do you want to and I know I get it too. It I, know I, get it too. I know I get it too on my end. I know when you go out they say fuck Sally's and ass. I, I don't never care. bring you up. But, that's fine. But when they do bring you up they bring you up in a negative way and I defend your fat fucking hacky so, ass. So, I don't care about that. 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 I don't care about that.
stupid shows before Howard Stern. Nobody knew you. You sucked on Mad TV. You sucked on the Norm <laughs> Show. Oh, Barely wow. sucks shit. It's fucking terrible. Wow. You know it. Why it was a flop. So it went in 18 theaters. It made 250 grand in America. I could shit that out of my ass. You, who are you to tell me about in comedy theaters, and, how, and what people tell me off the air? You have no fucking clue what you're talking you about. Know, and they don't got your side and said. They got your side and said. And don't oh, you guys yourself. should have been open. Where were you? You guys should have been open with those Chris phone, phone calls. Where were you for the past 10 years? You were a third rate middle. You were in a fucking, in Arizona doing the wagon wheel and shit. What do you, you know about? And you were a stockbroker. Yeah, but you know what? I don't carry myself like I'm the living legend of comedy. You're a and dick. And think he does. And he's a milking. He's been milking. You're a weirdo. You're a weirdo, Sal. You're a weirdo. Go to New Jersey and rip off the fans again New Year's Eve with the same act you did last year, cocksucker. You're a weirdo. It was in Philly. Wow. Wow. Hey, look, he wants to go head to head. I'm going head to head. What's the Sal, everything you're saying doesn't make any sense. You're jealous no, and it's I oozing not, out of you. I am not jealous of you. I put up with your bullshit. I always praise you, but you always got to tear me. So you want to tear me? That's true. I'll tear you. I try you to pull you aside. I try to pull uh, you aside all the uh, time. Oh, yeah. You, you, I try to pull you aside all the time and help you out. Give me Who gave you five break. grand after take you fell it back. off the stage and got a lamp? That was the worst amount of money. I'd rather take it from Hitler than take it from you. If I could give you that money back, I'd give it back to you. You don't know what country Hitler was from. You cut checks dickhead. to win over the audience. Oh, you make it. You make the world aware of how generous you are because you're so insecure. Oh, I took JD to Vegas. So I'm going to get him late. Oh, I cut salad checks. And so I don't want the air. I don't want you. Your, up I, don't I, paid want you. Your, I don't want your monetary sympathy to win over people because you don't have the ability or the confidence to do it on your the own. Ability. So fuck you. <laughs> the ability or the you confidence. Are out of Sal, line. go fuck yourself, Sal. Sal, you. Sal go fuck yourself. And if you yeah, want to meet me downstairs later, I will beat the that's shit that's out of you. That's a great I comeback. will beat the fucking shit out of legend. you, and then that's I'll go fuck your gay you kids legend. in the ass. Suck my dick, you asshole. I hope your kids die of AIDS. Oh. Oh. Are fuck you off. on your Beer League DVD back? No, I, Sal, I don't like you. I know, you made that wow. very clear. But I don't I like, like you, you at all. No, I and don't you give a fuck. Dopes, I, hold on, you just no, called us dopes and idiots for fun. If you come to me outside with this bullshit, I'm going to drop you. And then I'm going to fucking punch you in the face. What? 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 are Oh, my oh, God. Whoa, hey. what are you doing, All right, Artie? let's end hey, this uh, now. That's enough. What let's, happened? Let's, I missed uh, it. Maybe you should go. Artie just right. nailed Sal or something. What are you something. doing? Artie. Artie, what are you why doing? would you do that? Oh, go, what are you doing? Go, what is now. that? Go, 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 go. Hey, Artie, 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 easy. Easy. Oh, easy. Easy. Jesus. Holy shit. Sal. Holy cow. I feel bad for the guy. I mean, he's. I, I, did. I, is it me? Did I go overboard? No. I did I don't nothing. Know what it was I, don't know. I said I'll rewatch Beer League with a case of beer, and he went crazy. What are you doing? Hmm. All right. <laughs> Artie, what are you doing? Oh, what did you just do? I missed it. I'm here drawing pictures. <laughs> wow. What I'm just being, happened? I'm being real. Mm. Did you throw something at him? Yeah. Why are you doing that? Mm. You, come on, I don't, man. So, I mean, that's how, not he cool. wanted him to shut up. How, you know what? Life. I don't care, man. Yeah, but that's care. not cool, Art. I don't care. Then fire me. You want to be fired? Me. Why do you have to wait? Is it, what's, what just happened? You all right? You want to go sit sit down? He's sitting. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> What's just happened? I'm telling you, I'm I dropping him if I see him. No, you're right. not dropping him. Then Artie, well, well, it's my life. I'll, I'll make my own decision. Artie. Sal was being a jerk again. So let's like leave it at that. I thought he could control he himself and cannot, just talk about how he feels. He does not play well with others. But he just.